Android smartphones. Well, they are extremely customizable straight out of the box. But once you decide to root it, it unleashes the full potential of any Android device. Now here's a list of my top 5 must have or best apps for your rooted android device. In no particular order at number 1 we have Greenify. Well if you are rooted then you must have probably heard about Greenify at least like a thousand times. But I just couldn't make a top 5 rooted apps without Greenify. So what Greenify essentially does is it hibernates the apps that runs in the background saving some precious battery life. Now this is different from freezing which makes the app completely useless. Greenify only puts the apps to sleep while not disabling the functionality. Now you can also enable auto hibernation straight from the settings. The app itself is free and also works on non-rooted phones but of course not to its fullest potential. A definite must have app for both rooted and non rooted devices. Moving on at number 2 is Titanium Backup. Again, a very popular app among rooted users. As the name says, it's your typical backup and restore app, but on steroids. Now, of course, you can backup restore apps, including data and other kinds of files. But the app does a lot more than just backing up. You can freeze apps, remove unwanted apps, bloatware from your phone, etc. Now the app also lets you move app or app data to and from your SD card. And of course you get your default schedule backups as well. Now lots of features are only available in the pro version, but in my opinion it's worth every single penny. Just a great app that every rooted user must have. At number 3 is an app called Disk Digger. Okay, so how many times have you guys accidentally deleted some important pictures or files from your smartphone? Well, Disk Digger is like a recycle bin for your smartphone to dig back your deleted files. Now of course you can restore your deleted files without any problem from the internal memory or SD card even if you reformatted your SD card, which is pretty cool to be honest. You can upload your recovered files directly to Google Drive, Dropbox or send them via email. Now the app also allows you to save files to a different local folder on your device. Now this is important. According to the developer, you should not save the restored files in the same partition. For example, if you recovered from the internal memory, then save it to the SD card or vice versa. It is not recommended to save the files onto the same partition from which they were recovered because that would risk permanently overwriting the very same files that are being recovered. A really great app for all your rooted users. At number 4 is an app called Flashify. Now the one thing that most of us rooted users do with our Android devices is well flash different kernels, recoveries, etc. every so often. Now Flashify, it simplifies the process. You can flash recoveries, boot images, kernels and zip files easily using the app without needing to go into recovery. Now Flashify can also back up your current recovery image and kernel either to your device's memory or straight to Dropbox. Now the beautiful thing about the app is it works with Android share menu so you can send any zip or .img file directly to Flashify from just about any app with file browsing capabilities. Simply put, it's a one stop app for all your flashing needs. Now the free app has a 3 flash per day limit but of course you can always unlock with an in app purchase. A really great app that simplifies the process of flashing. Last on my list is a very popular app called Tasker. Now Tasker also works with non-rooted devices, but combine Tasker with your rooted Android device, well, you got a toolbox that can automate from the simplest to the most complex of tasks. Now I'm not going to sit here and teach you guys how to use Tasker, I've already done a separate video showing you guys some of my most used tasks, and of course you can find tons and tons of Tasker tutorials on the internet. 
Now Tasker lets you do the most simple things like launching music app when you plug in your headphones or turning on your Wi-Fi based on your location, changing the screen brightness based on time, and more complex ones like controlling your connected lights and many more. A very powerful app for both rooted and non-rooted users. Now all apps are free with some offering paid versions too. If you are interested in any of the app, the links are available in the description below the like button. So what do you guys think of these apps? Uh, are you a rooted user? Well if so, tell me your favorite rooted apps in the comment below. My name is Adi, I'll see you guys in the next video.